All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to do this activity. So you're going to go to Google Classroom. You're going to download the file. Make sure you see where it downloads it to. Once it's downloaded, then you're going to go and open the file. So click on Open and go find the file. So the JPEG file, double click on it, and it'll open the file. So you'll be ready to begin doing the activity. Now you can Command Plus or Control on PCs to zoom in a little bit. So what we want to do is use this color to find the complementary, analogous, and triadic kind of color palettes for each one. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, clicking on this, and you'll see your color picker tool shows up. Now I'm going to click on this, and this is where this color is. Here's the color code that we learned in the previous day. And now what we want to do is use this color code to go get the different color rules. Now this is built in to the new Photoshop. So what you do is you click on Extension, Adobe Color Themes. Now if you don't see this, it could be you have the wrong version of uh, Photoshop. Just see me. I will show you. So right now, um, now it could be that this color is not selected. So what you would do is set the color here first and then uh, set selected color. So there you go. Now it's the correct color. Now which rule do I have in effect? So right now is a triadic rule, the analogous, and a complementary rule. So I'm going to go with, an, with analogous for now. So these are the analogous colors that we already looked at. Okay. So what I want to do is fill in these boxes with these color swatches. So to do that, I actually have to bring them into my swatches. Now swatches may not be open for you. So you click on window, go to swatches and activate it. Once it's activated, you click here and what you see is it adds them. All right. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to start with the first box. So we're doing analogous. So I'm going to click on the magic wand tool. So click on that, click here. And what I'm going to do is go get my paint bucket tool. If ever you don't see it, just click. You might see the gradient tool. It's right behind it. So uh, now this is the first. Well, I want to put the colors in order. So I'm going to actually click on this one and put this paint bucket tool. So I make sure I'm putting the first color. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to go and use the magic wand on the next box. Then I'm going to select this. And now it see it's this color. And I'm going to use the uh, paint bucket tool. And I will do the same thing. And I will go and click over here. And I will get the paint bucket tool. And basically, you're seeing what the analogous color swatch would be if you were designing this logo. Um, I'm going to just finish this here. Give me two seconds. And so this pink. Anyways, and these are the colors that are scientifically proven to work the best if you wanted this analogous design. And uh, we talked about why you'd want to use analogous design in a previous activity. And I you know go and have a look at that. And sometimes when you're doing your design, that's like how you make sure it is the most pleasing. So, you know, remembering how all these colors match together is not an easy thing, but when you have these tools available, it's so much easier. Okay. So there you go. So uh, I've done the first one. Now, how do I switch to triadic? I click here, go triad. I always make sure my base color is the color here and I would just add them here. And then how do I switch to complementary? Go down here and there's your complementary colors. So I'd like you to do that for all three of these logos. And if you have any questions, don't be shy and ask. Um, if there's too many swatches here, here's a little quick tool. You can reset your swatches to get rid of all the extra swatches. It'll ask you to save them. We're going to go, uh, okay. Uh, we're going to go don't save and it gets rid of, I only added one, but sometimes there's a whole bunch added there. So if you have any questions, please let me know.